Hi, my name is Nick and I just built that door. This is Panka Family Farmstead. I'm going to give you step-by-step -step directions on how to build this door. And in a previous video, if you look back on our channel, we built this wall. And if you like what we're doing, subscribe. What we're going to do is we're going to build this out of one by four material and all of these seams will be joined with pocket holes so they'll be nice and strong it's one of the, the, the strongest joints in uh, woodworking uh hinges will go here bop bop tied in with the supports i've got a 12 inch dimension from the top and bottom i'm not sure on that yet this drawing isn't to scale so um that may change depending on how it looks and we'll adjust accordingly but so we'll build this on the back side then if you just follow me this is like the back side of that wood now we're going to staple up our sheeting and then we're going to take and cut different boards <laughs> that go on the top of that sheeting which is on the back of the door so here's the back of the door you notice where these seams are vertical 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 they're going to be exactly the opposite on the other side flip the dang thing over here there we go horizontal 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 so that will make for a nice strong door uh and that thickness then if it's two one by fours together back to front front to back that will make the thickness of a two by four um which will just come out nice and neat and i think it will be sturdy enough uh there we may need to put a diagonal support or two in here depending on uh, on the kind of the flexibility this way if that makes sense if this is our door um so i'm gonna get to it and uh also here's our hinge eight inch t hinge um these are beveled screw holes but i'm probably gonna run a bolt through these through the door side and then we've remember we've got that four by four plus two by four uh small dimension to go into so i'll just i'm just, long story short i'm gonna leg these in with big probably five inch screws and that'll be nice and solid there and then bolt this into the door so uh i'm gonna get to it here's our cut sheet door number one is the front door number two is the back uh since the back has different joining areas uh it, it, some of those cuts will be dependent on where i want to put those hinges so uh you'll see all that come together it's probably a little confusing um but this is what it boils down to four at 40 4 at 47, 2 at 57, and then the Vert's TBD on the back side. So I'm going to get cutting.
Okay, so I figured out what boards need uh, pocket holes and which don't, and how everything's gonna go together. These are the four boards that need them. They need them on both sides, either side, I should say. Uh, two in each. If you don't have a Craig pocket hole jig in your DIYer, get one. This is probably the simplest one. They, they come in just crazy configurations. You can get as, as nuts as you want with them. Come with this fancy drill bit with the uh, the um, depth setter dually bopper on there. So uh, anyway, highly, highly useful. So this is the, this will be the uh, le either the left or right upright vertical going up and down to either the hinge side or the closure side. Um, I want to see what these hinges are going to look like at a foot on center and make that judgment now and then uh, you can put the middles in while we've got it clamped up here. So go right there. Something like that. I think bottom hinge you typically want a little bit higher. So we'll put that board on center at, we'll call it 18. And I think we'll keep this one at a foot. Well, let's see.
yeah, we'll keep that one at a foot. And there we have it, a door. The only thing I'm really not pleased with is I screwed up this board. It should have been flipped that way so that the rough edge is on the outside. So it's kind of, see the joint's a little janky there. So this is the front, we're gonna flip it over and then we're gonna smack the sheeting, the uh, plastic greenhouse material sheeting to that side, the staples. And then we'll come around and fill in screw another one by four on top of this one by four all over cover these joints bippity boppity we're done all right get to it all right so i didn't have one piece that was big enough to fit this whole door so we're gonna make a seam right here obviously uh so i got the first piece in it trimmed up um get this one done here trim it up and go from there It is. So now we'll sandwich that between those other one by fours. Cut the uprights. So this is the dimension that was unknown because we're doing actually three boards because these support boards are going to go all the way across. It'll help shore everything up. So uh, I'm going to get to that. door uh, it's an upside down door right now but uh, so this is what I meant by double this is actually a two by four thickness here it's two one by fours no plus one is still two believe it or not so I think that'll work good it's I figured it would be a little bit I, I think it's hard to show this but um, Side to side, it's not great. I may end up putting a diagonal in right here. 
we'll see. I'm gonna go get it hung next, and uh, we'll see how it is from there. And I notice I'm missing a screw or two down here too. So I'll make sure this is right. Quality assurance here. Okay, here's what's happening. I didn't have bolts the right length to get just through here and not be sticking way out. So, uh, and actually the thread wasn't long enough on those bolts anyway. So that wouldn't work. So what I'm gonna do is use these 5 16 leg bolts in through here. Uh, in order to do that, I had to drill these out because they were made for quarter. So as you can tell, but these holes are just a skosh bigger than these holes. So um, these, I think I'm just gonna use, since there's five, I'm just gonna use a three and a half inch, uh, you know, big boy construction screw into that two by four slash four by four that we put up on the hinge uh, and see how it goes. I can always take those out and put bigger legs in or whatever. So let me get to it. I've got uh, the spots marked out on my door here. Uh, let's see, can you see that? There's the two. Two fronts, two fronts. So, here we It's not going anywhere. This is one of those jobs I wish I had uh, wish I had to hand with it. But this is where we're at. Not like it's a wind tunnel or anything.
And that's the way the cookie crumbles. There it is, folks. Pretty happy with the way it turned out. I'm getting better at doors. It's important that they fit in that they're hung level. <laughs> the hinges are put on squarely and just all of it. Um, finishing up just a couple little odds and ends I'll do here. Uh, we'll tie back the back the back side of this just like we did on the other side, um, just to make it weather tight. If we get any south south weather, um, so you can see the other side down there, but that's that's all tie backed in on this side, which we'll do the same over here. That, uh, and then I'll tie in these bottom boards yet. Still need to do that with that four x four, and honestly, that's not a very huge priority right now. There's a thousand other things I gotta get to here. Um, but that's pretty much that. And then uh, I need to find a way here to keep, keep this to latch open. I'll probably just do like a hook and a wire type deal, because it never fails. Um, okay, well, thanks for watching, y'all. Like I said, this is part two. Uh, part one, look back on our videos and you'll see it. it's, a, it's high tunnel, uh, I'm not sure the title exactly, but it's high tunnel slash greenhouse and wall build. Um, and if you like what we're doing here, subscribe too. If you don't like what we're doing, then stop watching our videos. If you're still watching it at this point, just subscribe, right? It makes sense. So, sayonara. Cheers till the next one. Bye.